So, I recently started out on Flip a Clip, and personally, I completely had no idea what to do. With all the symbols and pens and stuff like that, I could not figure it out because there's no writing in it. So, I couldn't figure out what did what and like how to make the pen smaller, how to copy and paste. And I tried to look it up on YouTube, but everything was outdated. So, in this video, I'm going to show you what I figured out. So the first thing that I was most um, confused about was how to copy and paste. So I had made these two frames because I wanted to have this guy typing on his keyboard. And I did not want to draw them over and over again. I just wanted to copy and paste and copy and paste so that it could go over and over. And I looked it up on YouTube and they were all outdated versions of flip a clip so they didn't work for me so what i figured out how to do which is not a perfect version i'm not sure what exactly the version is um but what i figured out how to do is you push the more button right there and then you go to frames viewer at this point you're gonna push in in the right corner the top right corner you see the the square with the dots around it you're gonna push that and you'll see the two frames selected. So say I want to copy the first frame. So I'm going to push down below to the right of the send button. I'm going to push that button with a square and then the dotted square. And then I'm going to X that out. So now when I add a frame, I'm going to push either the very far left or the very far right boxes and then I'm going to just click on that and so you see it will add a frame and then it will add a blank frame so oops so you're just gonna get rid of that frame so you're gonna delete it and then you'll have it copied now what if you want to move your frame around like, say I wanted to put it at the beginning instead of the end. So you're going to go back to that More button, push Frames Viewer. But then you can hold down the frame that you want to move and just slide it to where you want to move it, as you can see. So the next thing I couldn't figure out how to do was, this one is pretty obvious, but I couldn't figure out how to do uh, the size of the pen and the size of the eraser. So... What I figured out is if you um, see this circle button with that has a circle and then the dot in the middle, you're just going to hold that down and you're going to drag it. And the farther you go away, the bigger your pen's going to get. So if I drag it, and I'm holding it down this whole time. So if I drag it over here, it's going to be like 150 pixels. So let's test that out. So that's super, super big. So I'm going to undo that. Then you're going to, and you see the dot in the middle is how big your thing is. So is as you can see, when I drag it around, it's changing the dot in the middle. So that is a sign to see how big you want it. So if I want it, say, sort of small for line work, then I'm going to put it at about um, 28 or 26 pixels and that is a pretty good size for thick line work as you can see there is pressure sensitivity so if you push down hard then it will be a lot thicker but if you get light then it can be a lot thinner uh, but you can you can do it down to one pixel which is super small but still might be good for some very thin line work and the same thing for the eraser. If you tap, double tap on the eraser, just uh, so you know, you have to double tap on all of these to um, see what the extra setting. So you double tap on the eraser, and it will show you this, the same thing. So if you want to make your eraser really big, then there you go. Okay, so now on to opacity. So this um, pen, you're just going to go over to it double cl click like I taught you and then you're gonna click this black box 
And here you're going to find this color wheel, nice color wheel. You can just change it to any color you want. I don't know what's wrong with uh, Flip a Clip here, but it is, as you can see, when I change the color wheel, um, sort of glitching on the side. So I don't know what that's about. Um, but so say you want it to change it to black. And down here you'll see a little slider. Um, and right now it's on the darkest opacity. But if you change it up to lighter, if you go to the lightest, then it, you won't be able to see it, as you can see. But if you do it like this, then it changes to a pretty good opacity. And just like last time, it's the sort of the same thing with the eraser. So you're going to go over to it, and the second um, circle with the dot inside it, you're going to drag that. So 0% would be um, the darkest eraser, like it erases everything. But as you can see, if you go up to 84%, say, then it erases less. So now on to the move tool. So you're going to click on that, and whatever you want to move, say it's this whole picture. So I'm just going to drag my finger around this. And then it will automatically select the whole thing. So you can flip it up and down. And you can copy and paste again. So the drop tool, this is pretty straightforward. You just choose a color. You can drop it in. To choose the color, you just go over here. Choose the color. Whatever. Okay, so for threshold, this is how it works. So if you have it at 100%, whatever you tap on, it will just automatically fill in the whole page. But uh, put it down to, it automatically goes to 60%. So put it on 60% and it will just fill in the ones you tap on. If you put it on 0%, then it will have some marks is the thing, I guess. I'm not exactly sure um, what that is about, but it's pretty straightforward. So now on to text. Uh, this is also pretty straightforward. You just put tap on the text button, say, hi, insert. And it will have this thing that says hi. And you can drag it around, be like this, or like this. And on the side here, you can change the font, as you can see, where the um, cursive um, font thing button is. You can see, you can change it. So, boombox, this one, this one. I'm assuming, I haven't figured this out yet, but I'm assuming some of the fonts you have to pay for, since I don't have the pro version. You can also change the color, just as usual. And you can delete it, obviously. Do more text. Flip it, flip it, flip it. And yeah, that's basically it. So that is it for my flip a clip tutorial for beginners. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like this kind of content and hope to see you soon.